What happened to Tommy Sotomayor? Do you care to explain? Furthermore, family, we don't condone that at our events. Let's first say that. We didn't set him up. We don't want him to get hurt on our watch. Now, if you outside and you doing something, we ain't got nothing to do with that. But when you bring it on my platform, it is my responsibility, all right? As the, as the one that's putting it together to protect everybody in there. Y'all gotta understand that. So it was the House of Consciousness who saved Tommy Sotomayor. That's a fact. My brother grabbed him and took his ass upstairs to the sound booth, to the DJ booth, and had him in there. So that's probably what y'all don't understand. Now, do I give a fuck about him? I mean, when he, if, if you were in the building, and you are under my watch, under my program and my platform, it is my responsibility to make sure everybody is safe in the building. So y'all can say, son, that is a sucker, son, that is shouldn't have protected that. No, because if I wouldn't have did what I did, that man would have really got stomped the fuck out. He lucky he just got off with one punch in the face because I didn't know what was going on. Hey, hold the camera, man. Let me, hold that. Do y'all understand what I'm saying to y'all family? Try to understand me as the businessman, as holding down the event. I wouldn't give a fuck if, if one of our worst enemies come in the building, black and white, I mean black and uh, black woman. Don't do it on the platform. Don't do it in the building. If you are serious about it, do it outside. Wait till they come outside. Y'all can do what the hell y'all want to do, but not on my platform. Because when you do it on my platform, who gets the heat? Watch how many people be talking about Sarnetta that did that. Told you Sarnetta fucked up. Sarnetta set him up. Sarnetta wrong. You see? But not one of them is gonna say Sarnetta saved this motherfucking ass. I told my big brother, I said, yo, go down there, grab that nigga, bring him upstairs to the booth. Yeah. Get him out of that. Cause he lucky he got away with just one hit. I don't wanna see that man hit and fucked up on my on my watch. Nah. Not on my watch, it can't go down on my watch. Nah, even on his video, he did acknowledge so, so, that. On his video, he acknowledged that. Because he said, um, Tommy, he said, um, nah, they, he was on the phone with the police officer. And he said, no. He said, the facilitator, he said, somebody, they brought me upstairs to the booth upstairs. No, they're holding me upstairs because right. the guys downstairs, they want to finish the assault on me. Right. So he was acknowledging the fact that, okay, look, they, you know, they got me held up here. Right. So nothing else going to happen to me. Right, mm -hmm. see? That's respectful, but I agree with you, you know, like, they're going to say, oh, yeah, that's how they have it. That was, you know, they was trying to start up the start. Right. Stop. Turn around and say something. Even when the police came, see, I didn't even know none of that shit. I didn't even know about the police. So, um, what I'm saying is, I didn't even know that they called the police. The police came to the door. Did y'all hear it when they was Tommy calling me? Tommy called the police. They yeah, was calling me to the door to talk to the police. I said, man, tell them get the hell out of here. I'm not going to talk to the police. Everything is done. We got it. We handled this. Get the ass out of here. And the police walked away and just left. <laughs> I'm not walking over there explaining <laughs> shit to no police. The way you was talking, the way Tommy was talking, I did that. So, so yeah, go ahead. I'll elaborate more. No, no, no I'm telling you. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, you got to know it's called the House of Consciousness, not right? The House of Rooms, right? I'm saying so. So that space got to be made sacred. I've been trying to say this for a minute. Even the barbarians, the people that we call barbarians, they'll be in actual war with somebody. They'll get to a mosque or a synagogue and say, don't blow that up. They get they get refuge in it. So I'm just saying the house of conscience has got to be a place, right? For refuge, for those who've been sold drugs, alcohol, destroying no drugs, been through all kind of craziness based off of racism and white supremacy. we got to have a place where we can just relax our mind and not be that nigga for them. And, and the house of conscience is that spot. Now, you know, I respect the folks involved when they was wolves. And wolves ain't trying to hit that shit. So they bang them in the house. They bang them in the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm just glad that they listen to reason. You know what I'm saying? When I was able to talk to him, they calmed, we calmed it all down. What I didn't want it to be, leave from Tommy Sotomayor, then become, boy, well, I'm a Baltimore nigga and I'm a Harlem nigga. Because see, it started to escalate to that point where we started to fight for our cities all of a sudden that we don't get fucking on. You know what I'm saying? And one of us could have lost our life based off of being a Harlem nigga or being a Baltimore nigga. For me, that ain't conscious. You feel me? So just next time, when the crew want to beat a nigga up, Wait till you leave the sacred shrine of the House of Consciousness, get outside, and beat a nigga down. If that's what you choose. That's what I'm thinking of you guys. So we need to have some rules and regulations.
Because if we don't have rules and regulations, we're going to be worse than a barbarian. That, that make you barbarian. You have no rules and no regulations. But since we got the policy set, they really didn't break the rules. Now, me personally, I respect Saul and I respect Harlem, so I ain't going to be the niggas. There's a plenty of niggas I want to bang in their mouth. Right? But I realized that I just respect the space. So we just gotta start understanding that that is African respecting the space. You feel me? A warrior don't bring the war home to his house. A hunter don't bring the hunter. You know what I'm saying? After you didn't kill the animal, right? You get the time to, to, to race the blood off your hands. They do ceremony before you go back to the family. Because killing something is motherfucking war mode. And when you put your hands on another man, yo, you might have to kill something. That is the fact. At least where I'm from. A nigga ain't gonna punch him in the mouth if you don't think that shit is cool. So we gotta start recognizing that, yo. So, you know what I mean? Everybody respect them. Everybody want to be toned up. <laughs> you feel me? I get it. And they just, they, they, nigga, really, you know how you on, you on YouTube? Yeah, hold on. And you see a nigga, hold on. You see a nigga for the first time, yeah, you ain't supposed to hit him. The woman that was like, I see that nigga. I think we got him. I get <laughs> Dang, he really hold my like, hand. Like, oh shit, because it was a shot. Uh huh. Yeah, I get it, yo. That's that nigga. Yo, I mean, yo, they wild like that. Yo, I respect that. Yo, but we can work it out. What's funny to me, yo? Don't look at the whole event from one little thing that happened. Exactly. Don't take away from the House of Cops of this event. That shit was slim. I was just hurt and mad as hell because it happened on our watch. Yeah. I'm inside. You can't, Sanella can't be everywhere. It happened on the outside of the door. I'm on the inside of the door, so I see the commotion going on, and I'm going to tell you what we missed. We missed a golden opportunity to have Tommy Sotomayor ass on stage. Don't y'all know that Tommy Sotomayor was getting ready to go on trial on the stage before the people? We was gonna show him that we was gonna beat his ass intellectually. Sister Ayimpra Sekman was gonna sit with Tommy Sotomayor on stage. We had a plan for him. He came in the building unexpectedly. I didn't know the nigga was coming. No, I knew he was coming. He was supporting. It's a good thing. He was just supporting. He was in New York already. So Tommy, when he walked in, I said, "Oh shit, Tommy Sotomayor." I went to Ayimpra Sekman. I said, "Ayimpra." How would you like to have Tommy so my on the stage right now? She said, oh, so I'm gonna make that shit happen right now. So I went to Tommy, I said, Tommy, right, 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 right. Yo, you wanna get on the stage? Because we was gonna put his ass on track uh -huh. before the work. He said, of course. So I goes back in to set the stage up. That's what I tell him, oh, oh, hurry up. Get your ass on the stage, you yeah. got something planned. So I go back out and now, all this commotion started and we let him get away. We let him get away, family. We dropped the ball on this one. Because we had the system with the tear his ass up on stage. We let him get away. So now, what do y'all think about that?